Hello, Ignite attendees. Welcome to the Ask the S Expert session for Microsoft Security Compliance and Ident Identity Training and Certification Portfolio. So, this is your time to ask the experts any questions you would like in regards to the security, compliance, and identity training and certification portfolio, which just officially announced uh, yesterday. So, you should have a lot of questions. So use the chat to answer your questions. You can post anonymously or use your real name. Uh, upvote the questions you like so we know which ones are our priority. Uh, and then we'll have the experts answer your questions. And as always, uh, adhere to the Microsoft Code of Conduct. Be nice in the questions, essentially. So meet our experts. So I'm going to ask that the experts introduce themselves in the order of the slide. Uh, and we have another that's not on the slide. I'll also introduce herself. Uh, so Brandon, tell us who you are. Tell us what you do. Yep. Hi, I'm Brandon Neeb. I am the senior content developer within Worldwide Learning, and I manage the uh, MS500, uh, which is our uh, M365 security administrator exam, and have been developing for the last uh, six months here the uh, new two of the new uh, SC200 and the SC400, so the information protection and the security operations admin uh, content that supports uh, the, those uh, two new CERT exams. All right, and my name is Cecilia Perez Benitoa. I too am part of the Worldwide Learning uh, Team Global Technical Learning, uh, supporting uh, security compliance and identity, and I am the uh, person responsible for uh, the content dev for the Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals, or the SC900 uh, training content. And this is Robert Stewart. I am a content developer also on Worldwide Learning, um, focusing on AZ500 as well as the new SC300 uh, identity certification. Hi, I'm Dwayne Natwick. I am a cloud training architect lead at Opsgility. We are a Microsoft learning partner. I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer and a regional lead for that program and a Microsoft MVP. And last but not least, not pictured, but then. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Dave Megan. I, I am a senior product marketing manager in uh, Microsoft's SCI team. Uh, I manage our marketing strategy for Azure Security Center and Azure Defender. All right, thank you for those wonderful introductions. Uh, so I'm going to start it off with a question. Uh, Cecilia, you are responsible for the security, compliance and identity fundamentals. Can you give us an idea of what are the fundamentals to security, compliance and identity? Uh, yeah, so great question, uh, Anthony. Thanks. Um, so a couple things. Uh, first, I'll I'll just before going into the different functional areas and what's in there, um, I, I want to just say a little bit about the target audience. So when it comes to the uh, SC900 of the Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals, this is really something that's targeted uh, to someone who wants to get a foundational uh, level of knowledge or, or basic inf information understanding of basically security compliance and identity across our cloud-based and uh, related Microsoft services. Uh, and so this is a very broad audience. Um, as far as the content that's in there, we cover information certainly around uh, general concepts of security compliance and identity. So for example, things related to zero trust, shared responsibility model, basic concepts that we then incorporate back into uh, other elements of the content, the training content, um, and in the certification as well, uh, including security. So basic security concepts, uh, and of course, elements of our portfolio that relate to security. Similar for identity, lots of great information on Azure Active Directory, some of the concepts associated with uh, identity and access management, and also compliance. 
Uh, so that's in a nutshell. And there's great information on the CERT page uh, within LEARN that basically lists all the functional areas that are covered uh, within the training and within the exam. So that's part of the objective domain. If you go to the CERT page for SC900, you can basically download the skills page that'll break down um, all the four functional areas, the weight on the exam, and the topics covered underneath that. Perfect. Thank you for that answer, Cecilia. So we already have a couple of questions in the chat uh, around the difference between MS500, AZ500, and the new stuff. Uh, so Brandon, can you uh, give us a, a quick overview of or, uh, yeah, of what the difference is between MS500, AZ500, and some of the new certifications that we announced yesterday? Yeah, sure can. Um, so yeah, to give you some background, the MS500 exam, we originally contrived that almost uh, three years ago now. And at that time, uh, we, you know, the, the security products were not in the same place they were, you know, they, they are today. And so at the time it was, let's build this cert um, for M365 and include kind of everything uh, that would be related to that. So there's identity, there's threat protection, gets into the compliance and information protection space as well. So it was, it was very much kind of contrived as a generalist security uh, cert for uh, Microsoft 365. Um, the AZ500 is focused more on Azure security, you know, and it, it, if you're aware of that, it gets into security operations, but it's almost entirely Azure focused. The only overlap between those two is really around the identity and access management portion, which was a quarter of each of those exams. So those two have been in market now for a couple of years or so. They've been updated every 60 days. Those item, the items on that get updated. So they're still fresh and relevant. The new certs are more focused on specific aspects of things that were on either of those in some cases, things that are new as well. So for example, the SC200, the Security Operations Analyst Cert, uh, is very much focused on, on threat protection, but it, it covers both the Microsoft 365 aspects of the threat protection as well as uh, Azure Sentinel. And in fact, if you look at the skills measured, you know, over 40% of the exam is Azure Sentinel focused. Um, and that's, you know, quite a bit different if, if you're familiar with the MS500, which I'm guessing some of you are asking questions about it. You know, we had Azure Sentinel as an objective within that uh, cert, but the questions, the items related to um, Azure Sentinel, for example, were, you know, very, uh, very basic because again, that exam was so broad. So uh, SC200 very much focused on threat uh, protection from that perspective. The uh, SC400 then, which would be our information protection one, is focused on just that piece of it. Now, again, if you're familiar with MS500, 10 or excuse me, 15 to 20 percent of that exam was on information protection. So now with SC400, we've got an entire exam focused on that. Um, the idea is that these new certs are, are you know, again, kind of razor or you know, use your analogy, you know, uh, laser focused on a specific role. So that's kind of how things are evolving and that's how they compare. Um, related to that question, a lot of the times this comes up is, is, well, should and will MS500, AZ500 stay in market? And they will um, because uh, for one thing, not every bit, not every one of the objectives on those exams are covered in these three new certs. So there's, there still is a place for that. Um, also, there's a place, there's a number of people that want um, that MS500, uh, you know, that very generalist kind of broad uh, cert. And so, you know, it's, uh, it's staying in market. And Robert, could you give us a, a good idea uh, as to why AZ500 is still relevant amongst all of the uh, new certifications that we have? Sure. Um, it, the, to be honest, the answer is going to be quite similar to what uh, Brandon was answering for MS500. Uh, AZ500 is your operate, you know, how do you secure your Azure environment, your solutions, and apply 
the you know the the right security technologies to make sure that you have um, your your solution set up correctly uh, within Azure. It is very focused there. It uh, it does have some overlap with identity and a little bit of overlap with SecOps. Uh, but though again, those are those are general. We explain and question on what Azure Sentinel is, and not really how to do much more than um, than just a. Uh, configure it and the fact that you need a uh, special license to be able to to use it um, identity is the same way it's you you need to know what auth is and what um, uh, but we're not going deep into those topics within the Azure certification where we uh, do within the, the new specialty certification. So if you're focused on doing operational security and locking down your Azure environment um, as a as a security engineer then AZ500 is the right uh, certification. If you're wanting to drill in and be an identity specialist, then you can go over to the identity side or be, if you want to do security operations. Again, that's the SecOp exam. So uh, those are drilling into very specialized topics and going much deeper. Absolutely. So it, there's a lot of new security content out there, and, and that's because the need for security is, is very significant. Uh, Devram, could you talk a little bit about what we're seeing in the industry and uh, what are the uh, the factors that uh, make this security training relevant today? Thanks for the question. Um, I think this uh, industry is evolving towards um, securing cloud workloads uh, very fast because of the fact that we have a lot more remote workers today. And uh, we are working on developing uh, our strategy for multi-cloud protection, um, as well as uh, you know improving the the way our products work together for threat protection. Last Ignite, for example, we announced uh, our SIEM and XDR approach, where we provide uh, breadth uh, threat protection for the enterprises with Azure Sentinel, and then deep technical, deep extended detection and response capabilities with uh, Azure Defender and Microsoft 365 Defender. This Ignite, we announced you know, better integration between these products, specifically between Azure Sentinel and Microsoft 365 Defender. And we keep investing in each product to provide better capabilities for our users. So, you know, as we continue this journey and improve the capabilities of our products, it's uh, very important for us to make sure that, you know, we bring you along with us and we provide you the tools necessary uh, to make sure you can benefit best from all these new things we are adding into the products. So I think that's why it's very important for us to make sure um, our trainings are up to date and our users are benefiting from both the capabilities that exist in the product and also staying up to date with their knowledge uh, about the products. Absolutely. And since we have so many uh, new certifications, new training materials, so we can uh, help you protect your environment and, and secure your cloud. Uh, Dwayne, how would someone go about uh, successfully studying and preparing for these exams uh, so that they can be a, a security expert as it relates to these Microsoft products? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. I mean, I, I always tell anybody and one of the things that, that we, we even do as a learning partner is always try as a prereq and even just to a start is to start with the fundamentals exams, start with Microsoft Learn. Microsoft Learn has a lot of rich content and links to uh, links to Microsoft Docs and, and all of the, the great content that Microsoft has and it's a great place to begin. It's a great place to reinforce your learning if you go through a live instructor led training like like what we provide. Um, but but I always tell everybody Microsoft learns a great place. It's free content. It's great content to go out and uh, and. Reinforce your interest in a topic before you pay for any kind of training uh, and it just gets you it gets you started and gets kind of the learning the learning groove going for you as you start to get into uh, into going down the path of a certification and 
one of the things I can say about the S the SC content and courses is that uh, that Worldwide Learning has done a great job of putting those learning paths together, uh, and they're really strong to the objective areas. Uh, so, so understanding a lot of that, you know, one of the key things around the SC 200 exam is, uh, uh, like Brandon said, a lot around investigating and hunting and and using Custo query language and log analytics within Azure Sentinel, which is, uh, you know, for a lot of people, especially probably security people, something kind of new to them. And there is a, there is probably what eight or nine modules, I think, in Microsoft Learn just on Custo queries. So uh, so really great content there and just definitely where I would recommend starting. Perfect. Thank you for that. So uh, we have a couple of questions uh, from the audience and Cecilia, I'm going to throw both of them to you. Uh, the first one, uh, does any of this content uh, cover on prem or on premises environments? Uh, and two, we have a senior security professional wondering if they should take SC 900. So on the first question with regard to the on premise, um, the, the focus of the security fundamentals is mostly around cloud. Now that is in the context of cloud, we will certainly talk about hybrid scenarios and things that you can do with AD Connect and synchronization, but it is not explicitly focused on on-premise. We really are focused on moving to the cloud. Um, but like I said, there are some things that we touch on uh, in the context of hybrid scenario. Um, with regard to the second question, uh, with regard to security professionals, this is a foundational course, but if you are new to Microsoft, it is a great place to start to become familiar with some of the Microsoft solutions relative to security compliance and identity. So at any level, uh, it's a great course to start if you're not familiar with with uh, Microsoft uh, because we introduce um, a lot of the capabilities in, in terms of uh, security compliance and identity. Uh, so great for anybody at any level, especially if you're not yet familiar with Microsoft solutions. Absolutely. Thank you for that answer. Um, questions. Next question from the audience. I am really a novice on security and compliance since I'm more of a developer than an admin. Uh, however, I am considered one of the more skilled of the two global admins of our tenant. Sad, I know. Which learning path or certification in Microsoft Learn should I start with? Uh, I think uh, I'll go with Robert for this one. Yeah, um, so if you're going to be new, you want to dig into the security space, um, then it's definitely a starting point for the SC900, the security uh, fundamentals certification, and that'll give you a good grounding. I'd also recommend, uh, just because we are talking a lot more about cloud security, um, the AZ900, the Azure Fundamentals um, training and a certification. Between those two, you're going to get a end-to-end -end balance of what's possible within the cloud and what uh, you can do from a security standpoint um, with those. And then you start, you can drill into the other role-based certifications based off of where your interest or, or passion is, is, if you wanna go into identity, into the um, querying, uh, whichever topic that you want to uh, drill into, then you can start picking up the role-based certifications. And Robert, I'm gonna to stick to you for one more question. Uh, yep. Will the Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate, AZ-104, eventually be replaced by all of these specialized topics, identity, security, Windows Virtual Desktop, Azure Stack, HCI, etc., or will it serve as more of a generalized administrator certification? That's not a security certification. What are we doing over here? Uh, um, so uh, we're not going to see uh, AZ-104 be replaced by um, these certifications. We're going to see, there's always going to need, be a specialized need 
to be able to administrate your Azure infrastructure and all of the solutions that are um, running on it. And then there will always be a need to secure, to continue to secure um, those solutions and drive uh, better protection of your data, your people, your information. So you're not going to see it, uh, it go away. You will continue to see it evolve as an organization. We're always talking across uh, the different exams and the different groups about how we can better make our uh, content work together. But there's there's always going to be a need for a role of a Azure administrator and therefore a certification and training associated with that. Absolutely. And Brandon, I'm going to ask you the next question. Are there any plans or thoughts to expand the SC series against an expert certification like Azure Solutions Architect Expert? Yes, that's a good uh, question. Uh, we have been researching such a thing, but there is at the time at, at this moment, there's no uh, plan to build that. Uh, but you know things could change. I, I would put it that way. So yeah, we, we we've looked into it, and if there's enough demand, that there you know, that's a possibility in the future. Perfect. And Dwayne, I was asking you about how one should prepare and study uh, for these certifications that we have. Uh, how else should they uh, look to research about the topic? uh beyond the certification and, and learn more about this oh uh, you know as i as i kind of hit on before the uh, microsoft you know using microsoft docs really is very helpful because there is you know you can learn about the topic overall it gives uh gives information on how to um you know on like tutorials and step-by-step -step processes of utilizing certain technologies and and kind of walks through different scenarios. Uh, there's a lot of other th other pieces to the uh, you know to learn as well that Microsoft has uh, one of the things that, that we we utilize a lot of times in our uh, in our instructor led training is we will use Microsoft Cloud workshops uh, which are are free and available online that have hands on labs, have whiteboard design sessions where you can go through and kind of get a team of your engineers and kind of whiteboard out what you uh, what you wanted, you know, how you how to build based on a scenario based and just kind of uh, and kind of brainstorm uh, how to utilize different technologies and where different technologies will be used. And, you know, those are always helpful just to, you know, rather than just doing book, book learning and watching videos and things of that, it gets you a little bit more hands on with the technology, which which if you're going to be successful uh, is e extremely important. And one of the things, you know, I recommend always doing labs and getting into the environment, utilizing your, you know, your free subscription to a to a tenant and try and get hands on with the technologies, whether it's Microsoft 365 or uh, or Azure to understand what, uh, you know, what they're talking about and what you're learning about. Absolutely, thank you for that. Uh, the next question I'm going to direct at Brandon. Um, basically, who is the, uh, the, the correct candidate for the SC200? Uh, so we have an individual uh, who works as a security analyst. Uh, should they learn as should they take SC two hundred? Should they learn that content, or is there another certification that's more appropriate to them? No, the security. If you're a security operations uh, analyst, if that's your job, if if hunting threats and responding, reacting to to threats that have come in through your system, then yeah, that's the appropriate uh, learning track. That's appropriate cert for you. Um, yeah, so uh, th th really that's th the only thing we have in that space, right? MS 500 is very broad, doesn't really get into that much at all. So yes, de definitely uh, if, if that's your job, that's, uh, that's the exam for you. Perfect. And Debrum, where are you seeing the, the focus externally in terms of uh, the business of security? Uh, what's what's really lighting up the radar and and uh, getting a lot of attention presently? Um, 
I think um, threat protection has been top of mind um, and because there is a lot more people that are that have access to the remote setup. Um, the, we have seen an increased number of threats. Um, you know, you can see it with the recent solar gate attack. So threat protection has been top of mind. The other thing we see in the industry is um, a convergence of uh, cloud security posture management together with threat protection. And we're hearing a lot about our uh, customers um, being able to manage these platforms uh, from a single UI, uh, whether they're on premises in Azure or in other clouds. So the multi-cloud slash hybrid cloud scenario um, is also getting a lot of demand uh, these days. And uh, we have capabilities um, now integrated into the product that will be able to help our uh, customers to, to go through these scenarios. Perfect, thank you for that. And slightly off topic, but a question from the audience. Uh, will certs like AZ500 achieve late last year be eligible for the new recertification process? I think I'll, that, I think I'll answer that one. Yes, <laughs> uh, eventually uh, you, you will have the opportunity to renew your certification. Uh, another question from the audience. With the increased focus on security over the past few years, will we see more security centric certifications from Microsoft in the future? Uh, Cecilia, did you have yeah. to? Yeah, and so uh, I think Brandon touched on this right now uh, a little bit ago. Uh, there are things that we're looking at as far as future certifications, um, whether that be uh, more at the expert level. So I think that's there's more to come. Uh, in very short order, we launched four new, brand new certifications at various levels, uh, from fundamentals to associate level. Um, and so definitely something we're looking at as an organization, as a team in SCI. So more to come. Stay tuned. Uh, I think there's great things ahead uh, in this area. And, uh, and so, yeah, I think we'll be seeing more. Um, so stay tuned. Perfect. Robert, uh, the next question that I'll uh, swing your way. Are there any free ways to gain experience on some of the higher end skills locked behind Azure AD P2 or E5 level currently only have business premium? So um, I'm not 100% sure I've got a great answer for that particular, uh, that particular question. Um, there, uh, a, there are generally free trials uh, available that you can uh, sign up for a 30 day trial, um, but I'm, I, I'm kind of stumbling over this one. If somebody else has a, has a better answer, um, I go for it. But uh, it, free trials are about the best way that I can think of. There's lots of training that goes into it on MS Learn that you, and both and in docs that give you sample walkthroughs of how the content works, even if you can't physically try it yourself, you get a decent set of uh, pictures as well as step-by-step -step walkthroughs that can give you information. But if you're really wanting to physically go and try and do it yourself, then the, the options are a lot more limited. Understood. And Brandon, will these exams include labs, uh, such as how AZ-103 has them? Right, the performance-based testing, right? That's the that's the question. People have ex have experienced that. Uh, I would expect that to be the case. Um, I haven't seen them specifically. I know the for the beta, the beta just has the uh, typical multiple choice type uh, questions that we'd see on an exam. Um, but no, I would expect the associate level because right, we we do this on the at least the associate level exams would have. A performance-based testing component where uh, you know VMs or tenants would be spun up, and you'd be asked to do a specific task within the within the role. And and I can tell you for for sure on SC the 200 and the 400 exams, um, you know we're already building labs that support the instructor-led training. So I could completely imagine um, a, a scenario where performance-based testing becomes a component of those exams. Absolutely. 
So we have one minute left. Um, so Cecilia, what is your closing advice to this audience, particularly as so many of them are going to uh, go look at fundamentals and, and try to pass that exam? Um, you know, and I think you heard it from Dwayne and others. Um, go to learn. Lots of great free content. Uh, we have click through guides, and so there's uh, great opportunities to prepare for that exam. There's a skills outline document on the cert page. So uh, go to the cert page, go to learn, uh, look for the information, uh, browse by SC900, and uh, I think you'll find a lot of great information that'll help you prepare. So good luck. Perfect. And on that note, I'm going to leave you uh, with the Microsoft Training and Certification Resources. Uh, so if you want to uh, venture into the Microsoft Learn ecosystem, uh, you can go to aka.ms slash learn at Ignite, uh, and you'll get a whole lot of information and a lot of training opportunities there. Or you can go directly to certifications, or you can continue to connect with our experts in the tech community. Uh, or if you want to have the opportunity to get certified and learn everything, uh, you can enter into our Cloud Skills Challenge, uh, and you see that URL, the URL there right on the screen. Otherwise, uh, I'd like to bid you adieu. Have a great Ignite, and thank you for joining us.